For 10,000 years, the Innu were nomads. They were hunters. They followed the caribou. Fifty years ago, their lives were turned upside down. Stay in the community, they were told, so the children can go to school. The men were forbidden to hunt. Alcoholism and domestic violence became widespread. Two generations have struggled to find a balance between the old ways and the new. The third generation is coming of age, and the struggle continues. Grandmother raised me, you know, in country. So that's what I like about the country, you know. <laughs> the reason I like the country up there, you don't drink up there. Like, the only thing you gotta do is uh, like hunting this stuff. I don't like to eat like uh, canned food and stuff. But I like to eat like you know food, you know. That's what I do, you know. Only thing I gotta do in my life with this like follow my grandmother's footsteps. There, he was up in the country all the time. But I'm wondering how realistic is that? You can't stay in the country all year round, can you? Like at least like three months, probably. If you're in the country three months, what are you gonna do the other nine months? Only thing I do up here is fuck, drink, 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 drink. Start making trouble and just have trouble, trouble, trouble. That's it. Does that make you happy? No. Are you happy? No. I don't know what it is that's making our young people the way they are, and I wish I knew. They don't have the same kind of pride, you know. They think the big scene is the drugs, the gas station, the, the alcohol. That, that, that to them is what is the scene today, you know. I don't know what happened with our young people. Maybe because they know what's ahead is going to make them miserable. Is that why they're, they're doing what they're doing? Committing these suicides? I don't know.